Now, if the world increasingly feels at war, there is one common threat to unite us tonight. The odds are something you probably haven't considered before, and I'm afraid they are shortening. NASA has upgraded the chance of an asteroid hitting the Earth in seven years' time. And Ian uh, has the exact odds for us tonight. Ian, uh, how worried should we be? Well, asteroid 2024Y24 whizzed past the Earth on Christmas Day. Well, half a million miles away from us, and it's so small that nobody actually spotted it until it was heading in the other direction. But NASA, understandably, have been tracking it ever since. It's around 40 metres by 90 metres. That's about the size of a jumbo jet. Nowhere near as big as the asteroid which slammed into the planet millions of years ago and wiped out the dinosaurs, but big enough to cause widespread destruction if, of course, it hit a populated area. Well, its orbit will bring it back towards Earth in 2028, and then again four years later. But the bad news is that it currently has a 3.1% chance of hitting the Earth on December the 22nd, 2032. The odds, I'm afraid, have been edging up slightly, but could come back down again when more data is assessed. Now, naturally, it's been studied closely by the world's largest space telescope, uh, but the problem is it actually disappears behind the sun in a few weeks' time and won't be seen again for another three years. That makes it quite difficult to follow. Now, when it reappears in 2028, we'll have a better idea of its path and the odds uh, of a collision. But even if it did hit, the chances are it's going to fall into the sea or the chances are it could hit a desert and nobody would, would get hurt. Or it could hit the moon instead. But you just need to uh, also look at the, the far side of the moon to see that it's, there's a history there. The moon is full of impacts and impact craters and those are from near-Earth objects. So that's not very reassuring, is it? But uh, is it the end of the world as we know it? Well, if it was on a collision course, there are contingency plans you'd be pleased to know. Remember NASA's DART mission from 2022? Yeah. That was when they aimed a rocket directly at an asteroid to try to deflect it off course. They succeeded in doing that, so hooray for them. But unfortunately, what they did do is they knocked huge lumps off the asteroid, which are going to hit somewhere in 6,000 years' time. Thankfully, not the Earth, the planet Mars. And unless we're all moving to Mars sometime in the next 6,000 years, no need to worry about the, the debris from that one.